Hello, how is everyone? Hello, teacher. How are you, Norma? Good night. Good evening. Remember, Lisa. Good evening. I'm oh, sorry. No, good no. Evening. Yes. Remember in English, good night only when you finish. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Gerardo, how are you today? No, yet, I think. <laughs> Raul, how are you? Hello. Hello. Hey. I'm pretty good, thanks. Good. Good. Everything is okay. A lot of work today. Yes. Okay. And Daisy, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. I'm very tired, but fine. Ah. This always, always. I think, I think everyone, yeah. everyone in the group works and, and has many activities in the day. Yeah. Yes, I try. Okay. Well, did everybody have the opportunity? I, I, I think today I, I, I fixed the problems from just from Monday and and yesterday. So, uh, I hope today we don't have any problems. Finally, okay. Okay. but but always may you you never know with technology. <laughs> but today, everyone can hear me. Is is clear? Yes. 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 All right. I'm happy. That's Very good. Clear. That's good. <laughs> Okay, I think someone has a dog, <laughs> and you can hear the dog. Okay. So first, did everybody have the opportunity to review and practice the passive, the passive with by and the passive without by? In the links that I sent was extra practice, but also in the in the section one of the of the module. Sorry, I, I didn't have enough time today and I couldn't check uh, the link. Okay, okay, no problem, Raul. The link is not necessary. The, the link is only extra help or more practice if you want. Is there okay? I think we have a few a few people. So the first we're going to do is we are going to try um, today. I'm going to see if I can make the groups like I wanted to do the other days. I'm going to try uh, making a group, and the idea is how many people are to discuss again using the passive voice if you and your partner understand how to make the passive voice okay so with our partners we're just going to take a moment and we're going to see if you have any questions or if you understand we are going to help each other okay. so, did everybody understand okay did you okay excellent Okay, let's try, let me see if I can, I should be able to do this today. Let me try one more time. I think I have, here we go. We need to make breakout rooms. Okay. I think we only have nine people, so we'll try with this. Uh, let's see, four groups.
are you? Uh, hi, Raul. Do you hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me? Yes, but uh, with low volume. Okay, okay. It's good. Remember, the idea is in this moment, practice a little bit, speaking, conversation. It's just a few moments for us to have the opportunity. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And good evening. Thanks. Remember, for you. remember, the idea is right now have an opportunity to speak a little bit, practice our English speaking. How are you? What do you do? Where do we, what, what did you do today? The idea is just a few moments for us to make sure that we are practicing the speaking. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Hello. On the last Saturday, uh, I was I want to to Metro Centro San Salvador, and I and I. Uh, I'm sorry. I. Good, good. I'm hello. hello. I get up the bus. Is yeah. is good that you are speaking in English. The idea is to practice, try to get to to know each other, talk about your day. Uh, what did you do, Daisy? Or what what did you do, Lisa? So just a few moments, and then we begin today's class. Okay. It's not about the link in the WhatsApp group. Yes, I put the link for today's conversation, but yes. in a moment we're going to use that in 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 a little bit not in this moment but in a, in, in the future okay 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 by my by my wife wife the aki is in pass mm -hmm, it's in pass and you could help me with a example in the present in the present um, she found the cow that was very maybe Norma you it's okay do you remember the idea of the passive, or do you have a, a little a question or difficulty? Uh, I, I think the passive is when the passive changes the focus of the sentence. Correct. The idea is not the person, but what happened, the action, the, the, the object, what happened to the object. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay, I think I, I, the idea is me checking to make sure that all of the problems have been fixed. Do you, does anyone have any questions for the passive voice? I know it's a little bit difficult sometimes, but before we continue to the next section, I want to make sure it's clear the passive. Is anyone have any questions or uh, 
they are not exactly sure how it functions. I don't have a question. It's clear. Thanks. Oh. The possible it can it can be used in different kind of sentence, for example, in simple present, simple past, and simple future, or or the word kind of sentences is we can use it. Okay, very good question. Uh, the idea is in the passive. Yes, you are correct. We can use in all times. The passive we can use in present, we can use in past, we can use in all different things. The only function is that the verb to be indicate the time. So when you say in the present is, as an example, the book uh, is read. If you say the past, we say the book was read. If you say the future, the book is going to be read. This is the passive. The passive is not a time. The passive is not a time. It's not past, present, or future. The passive is a function to change from the person focusing the object. This is the function of the passive. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? I have a question. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. Uh, how do you say uh, incapacitada? I am uh, sick now. Um, no, you but do. I don't say I don't say uh, me operaron el, el, el mes pasado, mm -hmm. pero estoy incapacitada aún, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se podría decir? Okay. Incapacitada is different for different functions. In Spanish, is the same for all. Uh -huh. for, for all. In English, yeah. it depends. You have different types. The, okay. the word is leave. This is the idea. The word is leave. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I will give you, uh, for example, we say... As an example, you here, I put here for everybody. Uh, you, for example, say you have an operation, okay? Yes. Uh -huh. so, so then you have medical leave. Okay? Oh, okay, medical but, leave. But maybe, you medical had a, leave. but maybe you had a baby. Ah, so if you had a baby, it's not uh -huh. medical, then it's, okay. then it's maternal leave. Maternal leave, okay. But maybe Jose and Raul are the new fathers and they are father but not have a baby. So they have paternal, oh, sorry, not that, but paternal leave, not paternal like, leave. yes, okay. like that. Mm -hmm. okay. Paternal okay. leave, yes. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. So the leave is the medical excuse for not working. And then they have, yeah. they have the different types. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, of course. Okay. Before we continue with today, any other questions uh, for passive, passive without buy, the reading, the knowledge check, or anything? Hey, Walter. Is your first day in the class? Yes, the first day in the class. Hey, welcome to the class. I see the, I, I say, ah, I don't know this name, Walter. So I think, hey, he's a new student. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Welcome, Walter. Yeah. Okay, so if there are no more questions, then we begin with today's objective. Before we begin, are there any other questions? No. 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 Okay, no. then let's take a look. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. yes. Excellent. Today, <laughs> all right. Good. Today, no problems, no technical problems. Uh, we can make the groups. You listen to my voice with no complications. You see my screen. Woo! I'm lucky to. <laughs> awesome, DJ. Awesome. <laughs> yes, yes. Two days technical problems, but not today. How's it going? <laughs> okay. Jose, can you please read what is the grammar, or what is the objective for today? Yes. Uh, by the end of this class, we'll be able to use past continuum and simple past to express the action which was in process and in the past and got interrupted by another complete action. Thank you very much, Jose. Very good. Now, what we're going to do is we want to make sure that we understand what is the past continuous and the simple past. For this, we are going to join our partners, okay? And we are going to see what it is that we have. What We want to take the idea of what it is. So, okay, I'm going to make, we are going to make groups and with our partners, we want to have the ideas and examples of simple past and past continuous. Everybody understand? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so one, number one, what is past simple? Number two, what is past continuous? And then an example for past simple, an example for past continuous, we are going to share in the group. Okay. 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 All right. Let's make the rooms.
Okay. Is everyone ready? More or less. More or less. More or less. Okay. <laughs> okay. Which group would like to try first to explain what is the past simple, past continuous, and some examples? Which group would like to go first? Okay, David, go ahead. Uh, I, I shared my opinion with or my idea with Raul and I, I explained the past progressive and Raul explained me the simple past. Uh, I think the past progressive is when when the action is happening but in the past for example i was talking with my sister in the morning because in the past is happening this action and the simple past raul explain please okay uh, the simple past is easy. You will use a subject in the verb in past. Uh, most common verbs have a rule that end in ed, except the irregular verbs. Uh, when you will use a negative uh, sentence in past, you will use the auxiliary did and not or contract with didn't uh, for example i i didn't do i didn't do my i didn't my, do my homework or <clears throat> or i woke up uh, late this morning Babe. <laughs> very good very good that's great that's exactly the idea good so we have a little bit of an example and the concepts from uh, from them from this group is good in this moment I'm going to share the video with you from the from the platform okay to make sure it's clear Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go now talking about past continuous versus simple past. Okay, can you hear the video or no? Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I fixed all the technical problems. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm so happy. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, it's good for, for the both of us because now you can understand my class and now I can give the class correctly. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Please watch the video and then we discuss when the video finishes. Okay. I want you to listen and take a look at this. Uh, it's a timeline. Slowly. Notice both actions happened at the same time. Okay. Okay. Let me try. Uh, I thought we had this problem fixed, but uh, let me try. Let me try again. Maybe we can get this right. Okay. You shouldn't be so happy. Yeah, 
I shouldn't be so happy. I thought, ah, oh, maybe, maybe I think maybe the problem is when I pause the video, maybe it's better. I don't pause the video and only let the video play. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to try that. Only let the video play. No speaking. Did you download the video first? Yeah. Uh, because maybe the meeting online, online, uh, that is the reason why, why the video is so slowly to loading. Ah, okay. Thank you for the recommendation. Thank okay. you. I, tomorrow, I, maybe I, I, if, if not function tomorrow, I try to download first the video and maybe, maybe for this is, you are right, maybe it's too much for the, the group and the video for the internet, maybe it's too much. Yeah, it's possible. Okay, I'm going to try one more time in this moment, but if not, I prepare for tomorrow, downloading the video. Okay. Past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time. The one action be the other action happened. So we say I will okay, take your information and tomorrow I try to make the video. To download the video. Can you hear me or is it difficult to understand me? It's difficult to understand me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can I, I think it will be possible. Yes, I think. Yes, thank you, Raul. I think you are correct. It's better. I don't try because it's, it's more complicated. Okay. But can you see the, can you see in the screen? Can you see the timeline? Yes. Yes. That's good. I, I explained. We don't need the video. I can explain. Okay. The idea is here in the timeline is we have two actions. The, the two actions okay. are, are in the past. The two. This is the past simple and the past continuous. The difference is when we have two actions and one action happened before the other action. For example, here it says earlier action. Okay, here we have later action, but the two in the past. The earlier action always, always is the past continuous. Always is the past continuous. This is the action that is the first action in the past. The second action, the action that interrupts or the action that uh, stops the first action is the simple past. The first one is the past continuous. The example, I was reading a book when you came. The first action is reading. The second action is when you came. Did you understand? Yes. Um, yes? Let me try to next. Oh my gosh. Okay. Please, because I can hear you very well. Okay. Okay, maybe without the video, we can hear me better. I think, I think the problem is for the video, but I'm going to take the recommendation and, and tomorrow I try to download and maybe, maybe this can save us the problem. Or, or, or do you know what? We, it's better. It's better if, bef I, before the class, we, if you have a, a moment and watch the video because you, you can watch the video and then I only answer the questions or explain and not, have, and not show the video in the class. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Okay. In this moment, let me, you can, is, can you see or do you need me to make bigger the, the screen? That's good. Is good? Yes. Okay. So let me explain the idea one more time. In the grammatic, mm -hmm. we have the simple past and we have the past progressive or the past mm -hmm. continuous. Remember, the past continuous 
past progressive is interrupt. Right? Sorry, is that first action? Is the action not complete? For example, in this moment, I am teaching the class. In the past, I was teaching the class. The second action, the action that interrupt is the simple past. The first, the group explained earlier that the simple past is ED or is irregular. Or if we choose the negative is always didn't. Okay. So in this moment, what we're going to do is what we're going to try is with your partners. Can you see the screen, the 10 questions that we have there? Okay. It's okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, I heard. Okay. I think the problem is for when I I try to share or do different things. Um Okay, but what I'm going to do is every, is everybody in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay, then in this moment, I fix the problem and I send the exercise to the WhatsApp group and we, and that way we don't have to, we, that way we can still practice and do the activities. Okay. Okay. Let me try in this moment. Okay. I make Okay, I think, okay, first we're going to try three forms. We're going to try the positive, we're going to try the negative, and then we're going to try the idea of the questions. In this moment, you should have in the WhatsApp group the idea for the positive. These are positive sentences in the present continuous before we do the past. Does everybody see them? No. No? Mm, okay. Yes. Maybe, maybe some yes, some no. In WhatsApp group, I, I can see the email. You can't. No, I can. Ah, okay, okay. I'm watching now. Me okay. too. I can. Okay. I okay. Hang on. Let me do. Sorry. What I do is better. I send you the link. That way, if you want, you can check, or if you are on the computer. I give you the two options because I know some of you are on the phone. And if you're on the phone, it's difficult to, to do the class and check the internet at the same. So I give you the two options. You can click the link or you can use the picture that I send in this moment. Okay. With our partners, we want to answer the 10 questions. Which one is with the past simple and which one is with the past continuous? Can everybody see the first example, number one? But believe. But is writing a letter. Is a letter. Is Present continue. Yes, yes. Sorry, Lisa. Not not the first picture. The for the first one. No, the the second link. The 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 sorry. The first link and the second picture. You are correct. The first one was a mistake. Is the present and it's supposed to be the past. 
I, I erased. That way, it's no confusion. Uh, you said where said we at the breakfast table when? Correct. This one? Yeah. Yes, this one. Okay. This is the one. If you if you have the link, then you can also have the options. If you don't have the link, you have to discuss with your partner. The idea is, for example, number one, the verb is sit. Sit. So what what is correct let's do number one together uh, is it correct we sat at the breakfast table is it correct we was sitting at the breakfast table or is correct we were sitting at the breakfast table we were sitting okay raul says we, we were sitting. okay we were sitting we and were sitting. okay we have another we have where we're sitting Mm -hmm. Glenda, what do you think? We were. We were sitting. Okay, Gerardo, we were sitting. Mm -hmm. Daisy? We were sitting on the breakfast table when the doorbell was oh. ringing. Okay. Daisy thinks it was ringing when the, was, when the doorbell was ringing. The verb is ring. Yeah. In the past, it's rang. Rang. We were sitting at the breakfast table when, when the doorbell rang. When, ring. Rang. Yeah. The doorbell rang. <laughs> okay, so the answer is we were sitting at the breakfast table when the doorbell rang. Why? Because um, first, first we are sitting, we are having breakfast, and second, interrupt the doorbell. Ding dong. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. So, with your partners, we are going to try and we are going to have the idea that we are going to try to do the other nine examples. It's okay? Everybody can see all of the, the 10 questions? Okay. So, we have there. Okay. Yeah. In, in that message, you have a link and you you will accept the invitation to WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. uh, it's another another group. Yes. The WhatsApp. Yes. Um. The number two is he was he was meeting. A lot of friendly people while he worked in California. Mm -hmm. Okay, the number three. When they were leaving the museum, the sun shone. Shone, okay. Three, number three. Yes, yes. When they uh, were living in the museum.
The sun. Um, where shining. Where? Shining. Or was? Where? Mm, or was? Was because it is it. It was. The pronoun is the meaning. I think when they were leaving the museum, the sun was shining. Uh -huh. But in the and the when they repeat please when they when they were leaving. Mm, I think is when they left when they that, left the museum the sun was shining remember that sorry the pronunciation is shining shining, shining. Mm -hmm. okay thanks oh, you're welcome and remember is one part is simple past the other yeah. part is the past continuous not the two past continuous not the two simple past Okay. One past continuous, one simple past. Keep going. Good work. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Uh, I am checking in the web page and all answers uh, are okay. Oh, okay. Yes, we finished. Raul, do you have any questions? Or is is clear the past continuous? Or Jose, do you have any questions of past simple, past continuous? Yes, teacher, I have one. For example, okay. in the 10 one, okay. the, the sentence started, why he, it could be a took a, a, took a shower, he, the, his dog were, were, was eating his steaks. Uh, Which on the order? Okay, okay. Think of this, Jose. Is which action happened first? First, he's taking a shower, or first, his dogs are eating the steak? Well, according to the picture, uh, the third action is could be a. Uh, the past continue and the, the next one should be a uh, simple past. Okay. All right. Is it should be. It is good idea, Jose. Only the number 10 is a little a little different because it's correct. While he was taking a shower is the first action. But the second action is supposed to be the simple past. But it's possible also the dogs were eating the steak because the two actions not finished. The two actions continue in the past. It could be the buff. Correct. For is cor the correct is while he was taking a shower, his dogs ate his steaks, or while he was taking a shower, his dogs were eating his steaks. Both are correct. Both are correct, Raul. The, ah, okay. the difference is that the the perspective or the, the view. If the dog finish eating before he finished taking the shower, ah, then it's his dog ate the steak. But if his dog eating and he not finished taking the shower, the two are continuous. Okay. Okay. Only this question, the others are okay? Yes, and, and, and another thing is when the second action doesn't interrupt the first action, mm -hmm. could be a past continue. Correct, 
this is correct, like in number 10, is not necessarily interrupt, but the two actions at the same time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's go back to the main group. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, I think almost everybody is back. Um, I think one group is almost is missing, but okay. Are there now that we have opportunity to practice and understand a little bit? Are there any questions for the simple past or the past continuous? I can't hear you, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I okay. Okay. Daisy, can you hear me now? It's okay? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about now? Is better? Yes. Okay. You. You're welcome. Do you have, or anyone, not only Daisy, <laughs> anyone, do you have any questions for the past simple and the past continuous? Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. It's okay? Everybody else is okay too? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then in this moment, what we are going to do is at the beginning or before the class, I sent you a link for a conversation, a discussion about accidents. Did you see the, uh, the questions? Did you see the link? Yes, I see the link. Okay. But I, I didn't read the question. <laughs> no problem. No problem, David. It's okay. It's okay. Did the other people, did everyone see the link? Uh, yes. Sorry, but, uh, discussion. Okay. Yes, I have yeah. it. Okay. Good. Glenda, Norma, David, do you have the, do you have it? The first one link. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay. What we are going to do is first, I'm going to read the questions. If you want, you can look and listen when I read the questions, but that way it's easier for you. I send you the link. If you don't understand the vocabulary, tell me and I explain the question because it's important you understand the question to have the discussion. Okay. 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 Number one, what's the biggest accident you've ever had? Okay. Number two. Are you accident prone? Prone. Ah. Okay. Good question. Prone is that is common or is normal for you to have accidents. This is are you accident prone? Is are you suffer from accidents common? It's okay. It's okay prone. Come on. Come on. 
It's like common. It's like common. Very good. It's like common. It's a good synonym. It's like common. Okay. Okay. Three. Have you ever been in a car accident? Okay. It's okay. Four. Have you ever seen a very bad accident? Five. Have you ever caused an accident? Okay. Six. Do you know what to do or how to treat people in an accident? Mm. Yes, Daisy? Yes. Yeah. Or Norma, do, do you have a question? About the word treat. Ah, the okay. The word treat is how do you act with the person? How do you mm -hmm. attend the person? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Number seven. Do you know anyone who is an accident waiting for somewhere to happen? This number seven is we are not going to discuss, but it's important you understand. This is the person that is normal, that they always have an accident or they are going to create an accident. Okay. Okay. In this moment, we are going to make our rooms and we are going to discuss questions number one through six. It's okay? Everybody understand the questions? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So in this moment, then we go into the group and the focus is the speaking and using the past tense. The past simple or the past continuous. But speaking, remember, past tense, ED, regular verbs. Irregular, we have to use whatever the verb is. Or if it's negative, if the sentence is negative, then it's didn't. But remember, focus in the speaking, past tense, or past continuous. Are you ready? Okay, yes. Okay. Want to practice the first one? Yes. What was the biggest accident you ever had? Mm, I I didn't have a biggest accident, but one time. I fall down at the university and hurt my arm. Uh, I like to be a, a, to prevent accident because uh, I don't want it to be in a, in a big accident. Unfortunately, I haven't been in a big accident. And you, had you ever be in a big in a big accident yes i have one around uh, two years ago uh, i was driving my car from my job to my home when a car a pickup is really yes it's really yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. And I I asked you the question number one. 
What is the biggest accident you have ever had? I don't the biggest accident. Yes, biggest accident. Two, number two. Are you accident from? Huh? Okay. Are you accident from? From? Prone. Prone. Pro Prone. Mm -hmm. Prone. Uh, yes, I think, yes. All the is, people. Is, is, is normal for you to have accidents? Uh, In the motorcycle? The accident, not bad. A small accident, yes. <laughs> All day. And you know, I teach you. <laughs> oh, no, I, I never had a video accident. Um, um, I don't say maybe. So, Okay, um, number four. Okay, session Okay, I think now we have a, a good idea of the past simple and the past continuous. We are going to continue practicing tomorrow, but please remember to work in the, in the checks, the knowledge checks, and to do the exercises in the platform. If, before we leave, are there any questions or anything that you didn't understand or would like to say? Okay. It's okay? Okay. 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 Tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow I send more practice in the WhatsApp group if you want to practice past continuous and simple past. But in the class, we are going to practice again the speaking and more exercises. Okay? Okay. 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 All right. Good job. Thank you for participating. And almost, almost, we solved all the technical problems. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.